So hey everybody, it's TR back with another how-to, and today I'm working on my pickup. This is my 2011 Chevy Silverado, and I'm going to be installing some wind deflectors on the side windows, uh, passenger door and the driver's door, and a bug deflector for the hood. So we're going to start with the bug deflector. Okay, so I'm going to open this just a little bit, but I want to bring this down like this and just set that there. That way the hood's at a workable height for me. Uh, I've got the hardware kit here. I want to wipe the whole front of the hood down here real quick. But it, sh it should come with all the hardware you need to have. Um, so... We'll see if we can get this to work. <clears throat> I'm no expert. This is how I'm doing it. So it looks to me like the center one trial fit the hood by aligning the center mount. Okay, some vehicles have a tab in the center mount. Okay, I don't. Attach supplied hardware to hood shield. Mark for pre-drill holes using a marker in the reference slots in the hood shield. Remove the hood shield from the hood drill holes with a 5.30 seconds. Refit aligning the rubber well nuts up with the factory slot, which is here, I believe. But how the hell do you get up in there to do that? So, the idea is I'm going to take this and see if I can get it to hook through this hole here. Okay, just like that. That's pretty good. And now we're going to go ahead and mount the center one up just so I can hold it in place and uh, that way I can mark where the other holes I have to drill. up in here like this. This gets lined up with this. This guy goes in here. Can you still see? Okay, so now I'm going to come in here with a Sharpie. I'm going to put a dot about right in the middle of the slot. Okay. So I've marked where the drilled holes need to be. So I've got a punch here, but it doesn't have a center on it. All right, we're gonna try that again. So I got a center punch here with a nice sharp tip on it. I'm just gonna come up here and go on my little black dot. Whew. The sun is really hard on the eyes when you've been inside all winter. Five thirty 30 seconds, huh? Five thirty 30 seconds, here it is. Get some safety glasses here. Oh man, these are filthy. <laughs> That's better. Where was I? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go right here. And... Just wanted to clean that up a little bit. 
uh, before I put everything together here. Okay, to me, it looks like you need to uh, use a double stick tape. How are you guys supposed to get into that? It's got double stick tape back here, so obviously they want you to uh, double stick tape it. I'm going to get some alcohol and clean those areas, just as an extra careful special measure. Let's use a little isopropyl here, and it looks like it's going to be right on this metal trim, and then at the corner here. And then at this corner. And usually on stuff like this, you start from the center and you work your way out. I'm just going to loosely mount this for right now. Oh, come back here. And then uh, go back and uh, There's two more pieces of this. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably high bond tape. Let's take a look at it and see if it's square. It's nice. I like it. Okay. Now the trick is, and I think I can get to it, if you look right here, there's the end of that high bond, and so I'm hoping I can just reach up in here and hoping for nothing. So let's take, let's take this loose so I can get up in here and grab this. There we go. All right, two more little pieces to do. Uh, is showing the bumpers. And there's two little rubber bumpers that go underneath it. These, these little rubber bumpers are supposed to protect the hood. So. pushing on this and usually what you do if you hold it for 30 seconds that gives you a better bondage so that's pretty simple uh, I think we're done with this piece we'll move on to the shields uh, the windshields for the uh, windows most of the reason I bought those was because I like to drive with the window down a little bit always summer winter spring or fall and if it's raining these trucks are known to let the water in and so this windshield will help keep the water out and so we're gonna go ahead and put them on they're just peel and stick there's nothing special to them Alrighty, so these just stick on. They just have high bond tape on the back, okay? And so I'm just gonna do a test fit here. And it goes like from right here to here, probably right in front of the mirror. And then right on the edge of the, win of the window here. So let's clean that up. Let me 
some more al isopropyl alcohol. And I'm gonna go do the other side. So I just want this right. Even with the okay, that's going to be fine. Let's go to the other side. Okay, that part was really easy too. So I think we're done with this project. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. Always appreciate those. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Lots of how-to videos still to come. I've got lots of interests and lots of projects going on. And I like to share them all with you just to show you how easy it is to do it yourself. And you don't have to pay somebody else a bunch of money to do it for you. If you'd like to support my channel in other ways, you can go to my Amazon store. There's a link in the description below. Remember, as an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission, but you pay the same price or run over to my website at trbolin.com. Take a look around, that helps as well. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching, I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together the next time, peace.